What's up guys, welcome back. I hope you had a great time trying the day one workout. We're gonna go into day two. Um, you guessed it, majority, legs. We're gonna hit the legs, we're gonna hit the legs, we're gonna hit the legs. We're gonna do some adductors, we're gonna do some abductors. We're even gonna incorporate back some shoulders and get your back warmed up for what's to come after the fact. So without any further ado, welcome to day two. The dreaded 100 pound weight. First exercise of the day. Most of our work was pretty tight on Monday or day one. Uh, we're gonna go a little wider now. We're gonna get into a goblet squat. You're gonna use a single dumbbell or a single weight. You're gonna hold it like a cup, like a goblet. That's why you call it a goblet squat. I'm using 100 pounds for demonstration. And you push from your heels up. Make sure your knees don't buckle in. Back straight, chin up, knees out, heels flat. Toes slightly raised, knees out. We're gonna do 15 reps, four times through. Whew, dead. <laughs> Moving on. Oh God, okay. Next exercise. We're gonna change the action slightly. Instead of holding it up, we're gonna hold it down. I'm gonna get some weights, elevate myself. This is what we call a sumo squat. Slightly elevated with the deficit. Deficit is the distance from my heel to the floor. You can use a dumbbell for this. You can use a kettlebell for this. You can really use any weight you like, as long as you can create a deficit. This is a short movement. Your toes are flared out. Your knees again, out. Chin up, chest up. Grab the weight. It's like an opposite goblet. I'm legitimately dying. You guys, I'm doing five days worth of work in about an hour. One punch man, eat your heart out. <sighs> Woo, almost passed up. Okay, <laughs> I'm using lightweight here for demonstration purposes. Um, all of these workouts that we do that are flat, you can create deficits. And I'll show you what I mean with these RDLs right now. So RDL just means Romanian deadlift. I'm gonna do this to the side so you guys pay attention to the form. Dumbbells go to the side, feet are together, and straight legs. As straight as you can. You feel your knees bend? That's your stop point. One, two, three. Last exercise before we hit Tabata, day two, it's kettlebell swing. You can swing this however you like, just don't hurt your back. If the weight is too heavy and you start breaking form, drop the weight, use a lighter weight. Totally fine. <laughs> Ankles or heels just past your hips, creating a slight triangle, pick up the weight, proper form, chin up, look up, look down. Now, don't make the mistake of trying to swing this only with your shoulders. Your hips are doing the work. Remember the little toy, that little bird that goes So that's what we're doing. You wanna keep constant motion. Four, don't let the dumbbell pass the top of your forehead. And you can bend your elbows as well. From here, also perfectly fine. This works out your shoulders, works out your back, works out your hips. I'm alternating between straight arms and bent arms, and the dumbbell or kettlebell is stopping right at the top of my forehead. All right, guys, what I like to do for my adductors and abductors, so here's how you tell the difference. Adductors add to your body. Abductors, it doesn't make any sense. Or maybe AB, away from your body. Hey, I just made that up. I'm sure somebody's done that before. Again, this is a Tabata rep. So we're gonna start with AB, away from the body. You can do this with the band. I choose not to right now. You're gonna lay on your side, flat arm, Tabata up, and you have 20 seconds on. Straight leg, short motion. Use your hand for support. 10 second break. You're gonna flip to the other side. Same position, leg comes forward, 20 seconds on. 10 second break, you're gonna go back to the other side and now we're gonna do adductor. So instead of over top, you're gonna switch and you're gonna lift underneath. Don't let this exercise fool you. It's a pain in your adductor. You could do these with ankle weights, increase the pain factor, 10 seconds off. Now we're gonna switch sides and you're gonna lift. This is a slow and controlled motion 
And as I mentioned, if you want more work, get ankle weight. And you're done with two days of this workout. Day three sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm not even gonna stop. I'm just gonna jump into day three. It's gonna be the next video. Maybe I'll make the cameraman come do the work here. Eric, what do you say? You wanna work out and let me record you? <laughs>